My name is Gretchen Parlotta and we are at the Regatta Bar and it's a, it's a thrill and it's such a great energy. There's always such warm uh, reception from the student population, from especially from Berkeley and NEC that come out. It's a, Leonel Lueke, brilliant guitarist and singer, and myself, and then we're featuring Becca Stevens, and she'll be singing and playing on different various stringed instruments. When I first moved to New York, I went to go hear her show at uh, Cornelia Street, and I was just like, what is this? This is crazy. <laughs> and then got her CD, and then I was blown away even more. And Leonel is, is somebody that I, I'd met when I was in the Thelonious Monk Institute audition. Like I heard him play through a, the audition door. I had my ear on the door and I, I heard crazy things and <laughs> you know he's we've collaborated ever since and he's a beautiful soul and he's a beautiful artist. A good point too to, to think of is, is the difference of where the three of us come from. Leonel is from Benin, West Africa. Becca's from North Carolina. I'm from California. So and Becca you know she is more of a, she has a lot of kind of folk elements to her music. Um, and Leonel, you could call those elements folk from West Africa. And I don't know what you call my California folk <laughs> or something, but there's something about, you know, each, the differences of each of us that, that work. And uh, I think there's a really kind of uncanny blend that Becca and I have together. And then with Leonel, his voice is so completely opposite from ours as far as the range and, and the texture it's going to be very different. It's going to be very um, kind of on the edge of your seat, very intimate and, you know, goose bumpy. <laughs> and uh, hopefully it will just hit, hit people in a, a personal way because it's coming from a very, a very personal place. The year that I was there, Herbie Hancock was performing. Obviously he's somebody who I happen to know first as in the pop world, actually, <laughs> you know, being an 80s kid seeing the, the videos and kind of knowing that sound and then realizing that I had heard in my whole life being played, you know, in the house on jazz records. That's a beautiful kind of memory to tie into Newport is having one of your idols perform at, at the same festival. Uh, and it, you know, it's such a historic festival and just kind of hearing about the festival, seeing footage and kind of stepping foot on the grounds was like, wow, so this is, this is what it's like, you know. And I remember a really delicious lobster roll that I, I think I even had two <laughs> after I sang, of course. There is something relevant about a festival that has so much rich history that is still continuing and that is something that, that is in the beautiful time of the year and summer. The location, just the, the whole feeling, having different stages to feature different artists and just the energy of people coming together to, to hear music and to be that close to it. Um, is a big deal, you know. So, you know, of course, Herbie, uh, of course, you know, Sarah Vaughan, Ella Fitzgerald, uh, Bobby McFerrin, Nancy Wilson, Joao Gilberto, and just knowing, knowing about sound and, and space and how to, how to feature both and how to create both, uh, that's very powerful. That's something that all those artists were able to do. Well, Becca Stevens is really is the first person that comes to mind. Before we were even friends, I had heard her and was just com just awestruck, completely blown away by her voice and by uh, just completely captivated by what she was able to do with her songwriting. You immediately trust it, and you immediately know that like she is way above and beyond, <laughs> you know, other other uh, artists. <laughs> I'm Gretchen Parlato, and I hope to see you this summer at Newport in August 2012. Thank you.